Welcome back guys. Today we're in the kitchen. We have a nice piece of red snapper caught last weekend. Nice fresh fish. It was vacuum sealed and frozen. Have her nice and thawed out now. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do it. We have some Frank's Red Hot right there. Louisiana Cajun fish fry. And then on the side, we're gonna have some grits, some cheese grits. So let's get started. Need a knife. We're gonna cut this thing up into nuggets. I like the way it cooks in nuggets. So let's get her cut up real quick. There we go, some nice nugget sized pieces. And what that does is give you more area for flavor to get on there. So I'm gonna throw those in a pan real quick. Get them dressed up with some Frank's Red Hot. Let them soak for a little bit before we put our batter on it. There we go. What this Frank's Red Hot's going to do is give the batter something to stick to instead of having an egg or milk or anything like that. And on top of that, it's going to give us a nice seasoning. So I'm going to let that sit there for a few minutes. I'm going to go start the grease up. Outside in the backyard, have a cast iron skillet on my charbroil cooker. I like to cook outside, makes a big mess inside. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. High heat, got a little igniter right there. Gonna get my oil up to 350 degrees. Went ahead and brought the fish outside with my Louisiana Cajun fish batter there. Got me a finish pan and a scooper. Grease is sizzling away at 350 last time I checked. Let's just double check. And once we throw the fish in, it's going to drop the temperature of the oil. So we've got to keep that in mind. And it's tipping over 350, which is just fine because, like I said, when that cold fish goes in there, it will drop the temperature of the oil. So not a big deal. We'll monitor that as we go. And have me a little glove. Let's go ahead and get this fish in there. So what I like to do is go ahead and get a, a full pan battered up. That way I can drop them in and they'll pretty much be finished all at the same time instead of trying to guess which ones are finished and which ones are the last ones that went in. Cause I'll mix them all up unintentionally, but. Just get a nice batter all around those. Here we go. So we have about a pan full of fish here, battered up. I'll make sure every corner is covered. These are gonna be some spicy, good red snapper nuggets here. Oh yeah. Wow, those are cooking. Go ahead and dress these up. Get them battered up. What you think, Gabriel? These gonna be good? Oh yeah, man. I'm excited. I'm excited for you to try them. I think you're gonna like it. Oh yeah. It'll be good. Got my nephew, Gabriel, here for the test dummy. <laughs> the test dummy. Just, just the test guy. You're not a dummy. Are you sure? Well, if you try it and you don't like it, then... I'm a dummy. Nah. It's going to be good. I think you'll like it. Yes, sir. So while we're watching these, we don't have a deep fryer. So we're just like uh, about three quarters inch of vegetable oil, but they will still kind of float a little bit. So we're just going to keep a close eye on them because we don't want to overcook them. As soon as they start floating up, we know they're done. We're about to flip them because they're cooking fast. There we have our next batch ready to go. Do a quick little flip here. Now your first batch will always be less brown 
then your second batch. The grease just cooks that way. But these are looking mighty golden, crispy, and beautiful right here. Woo! Woo wee! Looking good, man. I'm excited. I'm gonna run inside, throw some water on, get that boiling for a grit. Okay, so this is a smaller piece. You can see it's floating. So that means we can go ahead and start pulling these out. I did just run inside, throw the two cups of water into a saucepan or the cheese grits. So two cups of water and about a tablespoon of butter just for flavor. And I always like to run my grits four to one mixture, four parts water to one part grit. So got that going inside. These are coming out, about to set our second batch in so we can time this thing just about right. Give them big pieces, just another second or two. Looking mighty good, y'all. Mighty good. Think you're gonna like that? Oh yeah. All right, so before the second batch goes in, we're gonna double check our temperature. Make sure it's at 350 before we put those in. If we don't have the right temperature, it's not gonna flash them right. See, we're a little cold. Get the heat up a little bit and then we'll throw our next batch in round two got our temperature back up to 350 and as you can see when we set them in it is perfect I'm gonna run in and check the grits. You'll just watch out for me. There's our two cups of water boiling, half a cup of grits. Stir those in. This is just gonna take a few minutes. I have three pieces of American cheese right there we're gonna throw in it, salt and pepper. That's all we're gonna do. Add some flavor. Adding that American cheese, y'all. Great. Woo. Yep, that'll thicken up just here in a minute. It's already almost there. Those those quick grits, man. That's the way to go. Not instant. Do not do instant. Oh yeah, see, cheese is already melted perfectly. I'm on low heat right there, but I'm gonna shut it off and it's gonna finish itself right there. That's it, it's gonna finish itself. Let's go get that fish. Get that fish, y'all. And she's off. Oh Woo! yeah. Look at that, y'all. They're already floating. Look at that. We had enough grease for those to float. That was the lower part of the meat that's a little thinner. So those guys are floating. We're gonna pull them right out. Woo. Man, y'all, that looks great. Woo. My uncle, y'all, is the best cook there is. I don't know anyone else better. Do a little barbecue here and there, too. Yes, sir. 22-inch Weber goes to work. Go ahead and kill our, kill our uh, gas there. That's gonna do it. We are about ready to feast. There we have it, y'all. Put that over there. All right, so dinner is done. But before we eat, we wanted to share with you the taste test with hey Gabriel. Guys. 
So we have the Frank's Red Hot that we cooked with. We also have the ketchup, which is my favorite with this dish. Then we also had his favorite the Southwest sauce. Southwest hot mustard, y'all. So that's his favorite sauce, but I think that this is the jam with this particular uh, recipe. Anyways, <clears throat> grab you a fresh hot one and tell me what you think. Fresh red snapper. Try it bare first. Try it bare first. Okay, okay. Let's see. All right, look how nice that meat is. Think. I think this is pretty darn good, y'all. I mean, it ain't gonna get any better than that. I mean, this is this right here, it's heaven in the mouth, baby. That's all I gotta say about that. What about the spice? We have Frank's Red Hot and we have Cajun fish batter. What do you think? Cajun. Cajun. It's good though. It is good stuff. It's not too hot. No, no, no. Just a, a touch. A touch. There you go, guys. Fresh mm -hmm. red snapper Cajun style. Mm-hmm. See you later. Sure. Sure.